Hey Mike. What? what? Who's got next? What's good, y'all? It's your man, Hezo. Welcome back to the Black Tower. I always got an H, you feel me? So welcome back into another episode of What If Wednesdays. If y'all are unfamiliar with what this series is, I go through some of the biggest what-if scenarios throughout NBA histories in terms of trades, signings, all type of things like that, and look at them in the aspect of what if they happened differently than they actually did. If you enjoy this type of basketball content, please consider hitting that subscribe button down low, drop a like on the video, let's get right into it now the what if scenario i have on my mind for today involves really two mainly one player but two players that happen to be my all-time my two all-time favorite players and that's the two guys on my back wall here Allen Iverson and Tracy McGrady. Now, when I look at this specific what if scenario, a lot of people may think that this is probably not one of the biggest ones throughout NBA history, but in my mind, it kind of is. So for those of you who don't know, in 1999, the Toronto Raptors had a deal in place to send T-Mac in the first round pick to the Philadelphia 76ers for Larry Hughes in return. Now this deal, obviously T-Mac had not hit his peak yet, right? He was only 20 years old at the time, you know, when the, uh, the rumor broke. He was only 20 years old. He was just came off a season average about 15, 16 points a game. And he hadn't really hit his peak. He was not the T-Mac that became a Hall of Famer, that became a prolific scorer that we saw in Orlando and Houston. However, with him being so young and with him being able to pair with a guy and Allen Iverson, who was only 24, 24 years old at the time, I feel like this duo would have been one of the best backcourt duos that we have ever seen in league history especially when you look at the offensive capability of these two guys and again no t-mac was not the guy that he was just yet when he you know when he hit orlando but if you uh, pair him with a guy like iverson the the ability that these two guys had to score there is nobody on the defensive end in a in a backcourt or even really just a defensive team that could have stopped these two guys consistently yeah you can argue the pistons you know back when they in 2004 but this is in the year two 2000 1999 2000 when you look at the eastern conference back then ai and t-mac on the sixers would have ran through the east even 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 with with t-mac not being the peak t-mac he would eventually got to that point now you can make the argument that maybe he doesn't really reach the stratosphere that he did in terms of being a scorer maybe iverson doesn't become a four-time scoring champion because they're playing with each other maybe iverson has to defer a little bit a little bit more to t-mac but do you understand how much it would have helped each other games to be able to play with another great player another great score because in my mind t-mac still would have became a great score regardless of who he was playing with and i think it would have even helped his game more the fact that he wouldn't have had to carry the load consistently offensively and then same thing for ai now obviously t-mac's first year in orlando he averaged around 27 a game and i'm not saying that he would do that his first year in philadelphia because he's probably going to need some time to to figure it out with ai because ai was such a ball dominant player he was in my opinion ai was an underrated playmaker and he doesn't get enough respect for his ability to pass and play maybe because he gets looked at and, and uh, labeled as a ball hog but averages the same amount of career assist as steph curry does in terms of assists per game with six and a half these two guys would have figured it out often especially on the offensive end how to mesh and play together and i know some people are going to be out there and say well you know ai couldn't even mesh with carmelo when he was in denver that's a, that's a different story, man. AI was almost past his prime at that point. Even though he was still a, a ball-dominant scorer, he was not the same AI that he was in Philly in, you know, in his prime or before he even hit his prime. The 1999-2000 season was the season right before AI won his MVP season in 2001. And if you give him T-Mac, the ability of these two guys to be able to carry a team in terms of the offensive in terms of the offensive dominance that these guys had they would have easily turned out to be one of the greatest backcourts in nba history one of the greatest scoring backcourts in nba history and there's no doubt in my mind that these two guys would have won at least one championships one, one championship if not multiple championships when you look at the way the league was at that point again they would have ran through the eastern conference there was nobody in the eastern conference at that time in my opinion that would have been would have compete with an with a backcourt like an ai and t-mac and then you surround them with great defenders like a dikembe mutombo who they had in 2001 when the sixers went to the finals and other guys like aaron mckee now obviously this trade did not go down Stephen A. Smith really sold. He broke the news. Toronto got cold feet and backed out of the deal. And we were really robbed of, of a great backcourt duo 
that could have won championships together, two guys that never got the benefit of playing with other great players, two guys that never had the benefit of winning a championship. AI obviously had a finals run. T-Mac was able, never able to get out of the first round because of the lack of talent that he played with. Now, again, you can make the argument that T-Mac doesn't turn into the player that he, that he obviously ultimately became. AI doesn't turn into the player that he ultimately became. But AI was still pretty much at that point already one of the best players in the league at that time and then you give him a prolific score who would have continued to develop t-mac was an excellent playmaker a decent defender i mean a 6-8-2 guard paired with Allen iverson that can get you 30 a game i mean yeah he didn't average you know 20 to 25 points in toronto but he showed flashes everybody knew the potential was there for t-mac he just hadn't hit it yet and i really feel like he would have still hit that peak even with playing with ai now he wouldn't have averaged 25 you know 20 you know 30 a game but he probably would have still averaged around 23 24 with ai being around 25 26 as opposed to 30 these two guys would have still been 25 a game scores and would have just carried the sixers and there's not many teams in the NBA at the time that would have been able to stop this duo. Then you have to look at it in the aspect of how this would have changed the rest of, you know, not now the rest of history, but the rest of these guys' careers. I obviously talked about how it would have affected their scoring and everything, and, and, and we understand all that. But let's think, let's think about for a second, AI probably doesn't end up in Denver. T-Mac probably does, well, we obviously know he wouldn't end up in Orlando. He probably doesn't end up in Houston. And these guys probably stay together for the rest, maybe the rest of their careers. Now, again, that's probably, that may be a stretch. You, I guess you really never know. But if they're winning and they're consistently getting, you know, getting deep playoff runs, there's no reason why these two guys wouldn't stay together and be able to challenge a duo like Shaq and Kobe with the Lakers for a championship. Because in my mind, these, this, these two guys would have consistently been in the nba finals in the eastern conference again because i just don't see a team in the eastern conference at that time you could maybe argue indiana you could maybe argue new jersey i understand all that but those two teams weren't really that dominant and didn't have two top tier players like this like the sixers would have once team mac got to that point if in you know we're assuming that he does i feel like they would have been in the nba finals several times and won at minimum one championship but me personally i think they would have won probably two to three now y'all can make that argument you can dispute that if you want and i'm not mad at that but really i don't think it can be argued that they wouldn't have won at least one championship with just the way that the how dominant scoring the ball that they were and again this is a what if in terms of how t-mac also you know grows and becomes that score does he turn into that prolific score that we saw in orlando i still think he does he maybe just not average as many points per game but the ability would still be there and the ability for Iverson would still be there but they would just have to still defer to each other and share the rock a little bit more but I'm telling you that would have done wonders for both of these guys careers we were robbed as fans we were robbed as fans so that we did not get to see these two guys play together my two all-time favorite players I think they would have been one of the most exciting teams to ever to, to ever watch with the the way that these guys were scores man i can't even stress that enough how fun these two guys were to watch i, I really feel like they would have just done so much damage in the league and in the eastern conference that we were really robbed of it it is what it is the rest is history we know it didn't happen that way t-mac ends up in orlando ai pretty much stays in philly until he goes to denver doesn't really play with a lot of talent in philly and neither guy win a championship and it, it's just such a shame so we'll pretty much leave it there man not really too much more to go into for this what if scenario let me know what y'all think down in the comments how many championships do you think that t-mac and ai would have won together if that trade would have went down let me know of any what if future uh future what ifs that y'all want to see come every wednesday let me know down in the comments Drop a like on the video and I will catch y'all next episode.